are about to start the most intense match in this tournament. Team Matterix versus Undisputed. Get ready to rumble. Like he said, let's get ready to rumble. Let's get ready to rumble. First round, and here we have two super punches getting activated. And Team Undisputed does take the first two deaths here. Nick making the scoreboard 4-0 here. Make that 5-0, an amazing start for Team Matterix. Got control of the sword control of the RPG and now they're trying to keep this momentum here and strong push Matan slashing root there while he had his super punch and then Matan coming behind neck face there Matan gets taken down now we have a push here but the super punch sorry the super tough gets activated and Nick manages to shatter the glass of that super tough. And then Matan comes in flying with the rock launcher. An intense first minute here with Team Undisputed versus Matterix. Another super tough uh, there from Nick. I think his name is Nick. Rick um, to uh, stop that, uh, that player there. Now we have Neck Face with the Sword Sniper combo trying to get some long range shots. Matan comes in hot with the Super Punch. Here we have the Super Tough being used there to stop Matan and his tracks. But now, uh, looks like a Super Tough versus a Super Tough, but. The shotgun pushing root back there, knowing that that is dangerous to get up close to. Root still pushing back, hoping that his teammate can uh, help stop that shotgun blast. But he does create some distance there. We have a an attack there. Neck face slashes Matan. Is now giving Root some backup here. But the super tough is activated again. Creating that push on Root there. And does take him down, but Neckface used that time wisely to get control of the RPG there. Matan holding down the back analog there to slow down his super punch. Did not want to get too close to uh, Neckface. But Neckface slashes Matan here, now going off on a three kill streak. Is the momentum going to kick up here for Team Undisputed? Here we have a trade-off. Matan going in with a super punch slice. There's not that many things that can stop a super, a super tough, but the sword is one of those things. On a route there on a 2v1, but now Neckface has control of the rocket launcher. But will he maintain it? No, he does get taken down by Matan, who then uses that same rocket launcher to take down Root there. Ladies and gentlemen, we have 60 seconds remaining. And that is intense here for both teams here. Team Matterix gaining a hot momentum here, first round. Now involved in a 1v1 fight, Nick takes down Root. Matan trapped in a super net. Almost gets a kill there. Now another sword slash attempt to Root there using the super top. 30 seconds remaining. But then Neck face comes in with a snipe and an amazing mid-air jump uh, snipe there across the map. Will that snipe help this team gain this first victory? Neckface now going on a four kill streak. Root gets trapped in a super net there. And now Neckface in a 2v1 fight does get the final kill. But 
Will that be enough round here for the first round? This match, guys, amazing. Matan and Nick going on a 21 to 12 first round. An amazing first round here for Team Matterix. All right, teams, let's rumble. An incredible first round here. And now round two, Team Matterix versus Undisputed. It looks like the Matterix are going to get control of the Sword Rocket first. A super net miss right there from Root. And now Nightface trying to regain some distance because Matan comes in with the Sword Rocket to take him down. Starting this second round here with a 2-0. Oh. Root now with the grenade launcher trying to take some shots but does get hit with the RPG. Nightface sniping Nick but then Matan takes him down with the super punch there. Team Matarix came to rumble tonight. But will that be enough? Because Root now comes in with the uh, super net grenade launcher and grabs control of, of the sword there. A close up there. Uh, neck face to take down Nick. Rick. <laughs> Matan surviving an ambush here from the shotgun and the grenade launcher. Can he push it further? No. Neckface comes in with a shotgun and cleans that up. Now we have a 2v1 fight. The super tub gets activated, but he was still within the vicinity of that super net and thus cancel it out. Team Undisputed uh, coming in hot this second round. Neck phase now on a three kill streak. About to make it a four there, and he does. But will he survive this? No. Matan came in hot, but Root came right back to clean that up. Now on a three kill streak. The rock launcher is up. The team see this. They're trying to grab control of it, and they do. Now laying some shots here. A perfect super net there from Rue, but now it has to dodge Matan, who does trade off with him. Will Neckface grab control of the RPG? And he surely does. And now uses the super ammo to take some shots there at Team Matarix. Will he stop the super punch? And he does with the super ammo shotgun combo. And Rue slashes Rick there. It looks... Like right now, this might go to an, another overtime matchup here in this tournament. It goes to show how things can change real quick here. Neck face shooting Rick to the window there. It is now one shot. Uses that rock as perfect cover here. But does try to get some shots in here at uh, Matan who's coming at him and he does mid air. And then Rue cleans up Rick there with the uh, sword shotgun. A different turn, uh, a, a different round two here than we had in round one. Here we have some dodges. Matan gets hit there. Rick now looking to get away here because we have a barrage from the team, from Team Undisputed here, looking for the so, for some more players to kill. But well, here we have uh, Matan sniping Root while in the air with the super punch there. 60 seconds remain. And then stopping Neckface there who had control of the power weapon. Is that going to be the momentum that Team Matarix is going to use in this last 50 seconds to gain the second round here? Matan uses it to stop Root there. But will he use it more to stop Neckface and... He missed by just an inch here, putting Neckface one shot. That might have been the momentum that that team needed to seconds get remain. this win. But Rick there stops Neckface with a super with a su super tough, and then Root stops him in, in his tracks with the super net. A very powerful ability that has to get used precisely. Ten seconds on the clock. Matan gets a kill, but then Root stops him. Okay, going off 
against a sniper here. Trying to get the last kill, but he manages Round to end over. up in a super tough. And they do with another 21 to 11. They, wow, they turned it around, 21 to 11. It's Rumble. Round three, Team Undisputed versus Team Matterix who gets the first kill there on Rook, but the neck base trades it off, and now it's a tied game, but Team Matterix has control of the Sword Rocket. But will that be enough? Neck face gaining air there so that he doesn't get hit, putting Matan yellow and stops him and his tracks there, possibly gaining control of the RPG. No, it looks like it despawned here, but as long as one team doesn't have it, here we have 2v1. Two, two Amazing super ammo push there by the shotgun on Neckface's hands there. I, I just named three body parts, neck, face, and hands. A push there to lay some shots. Root fin finishes off Rick there. But the RPG did spawn, and he gets trapped by the super net. A perfectly placed net. That plays like that can turn these matches around from a loss to a win here. Team Undisputed now trying to use that momentum there. Rick still in that super tough. Does get taken down. And uh, Matan here now pushing back in that case with Yellow, who, who's now one shot. Trying to get high so that he can finish off that one kill. He takes down Root. Matan gets taken down by Neckface now. Both teams are giving it their all this third round. Nick, or sorry, Rick, sniping Neckface there who had control of some power weapons there. And now Team Matterix has control of the rocket launcher. Neck phase with a cr crazy snipe there through, through that door crack. Root now looking for that next target. Does spot him. And ladies and gentlemen, he stopped the player who had the RPG. But he calls it out to uh, Matan who ends up picking it up. That super net is proven to be deadly in this tournament here. Especially against someone who has control of the power weapons. If you have a snipe fight, neck face versus Matan there. Matan gets hit. Does get pushed back. And here we have a rush for top mid. Both teams. Neck face having to pull out his pistol there. Goes in for the slash, but Nick ends up shotgunning uh, neck face there. Now we have a shotgun fight. One has a sword. Will that make a difference? And it does, but Neckface finishes up that kill with the RPG up. Which team is going to grab it? It looks like Neckface is, but Matan is going to come in hot with that super punch. I almost got hit with a rock launcher. That's how intense this matchup is. Root takes down Matan. Right there. Grabbing control of the shotgun. He goes in for close quarter combat here. Matan gets hit with some perfectly placed shots from Nightface, who, who now also stops Rick in his track. Root right behind him to take control of two swords remain. here so that the other team does not get one. Looking, he, he does drop one. Matan one shot. Does manage to possibly get away, but Root slices Nick or Rick there. He did trap him in the net and now with control of the sword. No, he traded off the sword. The, he traded off the rocket to Nightface who activates remain. that super ammo and takes down Matan. And it's now going after uh, Rick there. Matan super punches Nightface for the RPG. Will he use that on this team to gain the lead? Because Rick just stopped Root. Who is winning here with 10 seconds on the clock? Another amazing super net to stop the RPG on my time, but then Rick stops Root. Three seconds on the clock. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. Round over. 
Night face. Oh my god, I can't, I can't see. Night face. I can't. I, oh my god, night face in real with 18 to a 14.